Hey, hi everyone! Welcome back to the channel Online Study for You, a complete placement solution. So today we are going to dive deep into some of the most crucial TCS and QT exam topics. I have preparation sheet here that is packed with the selected questions based on latest patterns from previous TCS and QT exams, and I want to share some important tips and insights based on 2024 exam pattern. to help you perform your best so let's talk about the coding section in 2024 there were two coding questions and you will have 90 minute time duration to solve these two coding questions now the catch here is that you can't see the second question until you have submitted the first one so to work on the second question you have to submit the first coding questions and then only you can work on the second coding question now here is something else to keep in mind which i am not 100% sure but many students have mentioned that once you move on the second question you can go back and view the first question but you won't be able to make any changes to the first one or resubmit it so to be completely sure about it before the exam start you will be able to see instruction on the screens like the pattern and the marking scheme make sure to read them carefully one common issue that students faced is getting stuck on the very first question for example if you are having trouble with the input handling or you have any issue that is not letting you to solve that first question you might spend too much time trying to solve it some students later realize that the second question was easier and they could have solved it if only that they had managed their time better so keep an eye on the clock and balance your time wisely between the questions moving on to the next point you will have to prepare yourself to write the code from scratch including all the necessary header files for example in c++ we need to include these header file at the beginning of your code another problem students have faced with the tcs interface is not knowing how to view the expected output for their code after writing and running your code you will see your output but not the expected output to find it look for a small arrow near the question that will be near the question click on it and you will be able to see the expected output lastly in coding section one more thing that i'll want to discuss is some question might look complex and make you think that they require concepts like dynamic programming or graphs don't overthink at start your first aim should be to pass the test cases if you can solve the problem with the brute force and all the test cases passes then go for it if you have time left then only you can optimize your solution remember what matters most is to pass all the test cases moving on to the numerical ability and verbal ability section in this section you can switch between questions within the same section but you can't switch between different section your goal should be to solve as many as question possible in the least amount of time suppose you find a question for which you know the method but you know that it will require lengthy calculation then mark that question and move on to the different question of the same section in which you know that it will take less time after finishing the easier one you can return back to the mark question now let's move to our preparation sheet so if you will see 2024 exam patterns for tcs and qt arrays strings and some mathematical questions are the key focus area last year they asked questions like matrix modifications where we have been given a square matrix of n cross n and we have to modify matrix in a way that all elements below the main diagonals are set to zero this year you might encounter similar question with with a little twist like setting elements in the upper matrix to zero or any questions like uh, given m cross n matrix and if an element is zero set its entire row or entire column to a zero or similar type of questions so after doing analysis of all previous year papers here is a breakdown of question types that you should prepare for 
These include number system question, which is the mathematical question. They covered a range of topics such as factorial, power calculation, Fibonacci series. In 2024, there was a question based on Fibonacci series in which you have to calculate the sum of n terms in series. And these set cover question on the basis of different arithmetic operations such as question based on divisibility that was asked in 2024 where you have been given a number and you have to check whether that number is divisible by 9 or not. Question based on Armstrong number where you have to return true if it is an Armstrong number otherwise return false. So these are the question based on mathematicals. Moving on to the next section that is the array and string. The array section include questions like Kadan's algorithm which was asked in 2024, finding second largest element and other array related problems like find majority elements that appeared more than n by 3 times or n by 2 times. This was also asked in 2024 shifts. There are also questions like uh, find the second largest elements, find number of good pairs, find maximum subarray problem. So here are the question based on arrays and strings. Pay attention to common string manipulations problems and practice writing efficient code for them like reverse a string, reverse a word is a string, find number of time a character appeared in the string, calculate the frequency of character in a string, palindrome, longest common prefix. So these are some questions based on string manipulations. Now let's move to the next session. That is sorting. These include questions like selection sort, bubble sort, insertion sort, merge sort, quick sort. There was question in 2024 where they were given an array balls containing numbers and you had to sort the array in place. So these were also question asked in 2024. Now let's move to the another section that is searching. This include questions like linear search, binary search. In 2024, there was question based on seal and flow. So there is one question included here, which include the concept of seal and flow. Another question like find peak elements. Here are some extra topics that are not so popular in exams, but being well prepared for all areas is essential. So once you have mastered arrays, strings, searching, sorting, number system, make sure to review linguist questions, stack and queue, has map as well. So these topics are included in this extra topic. You will find this seed in the description below. So don't forget to check it out. To enhance your preparation, consider checking out the paired TCS NQT crash course by online study for you. This course is fully updated according to the latest TCS exam pattern. It include, you can see here in the content section, it include a lot of live classes that are conducted daily. What's really special about this course is that it already have included the question that was asked in TCS 2024 NQT exam. You can here see in the content section. So whether you are preparing in C++ or you are preparing here in Java, you can see here is the Java video. So whether you are preparing in C++ or you are preparing Java, this course has covered both the languages. Plus this course include videos for aptitude, reasoning, even for the verbal ability here. You can see this course also include a lot of programming question that will help you in preparing for TCS and QD. You can find the link to the course in the description below. So don't forget to check it out. That's all for today's video. I hope you find these tips helpful for your TCS and QD preparation. Best of luck for your exams and I'll see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye.